Ninus Breachcast, the world's first identity management app made exclusively for identity experts and product owners, is available in the iOS App Store now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nidus Anarchy Series. I'm your host, Adam, CIO and co-founder of Nidus, and today I want to talk about a cool hack I came up with to get PoE cameras to work with the Ubiquiti Dream Machine wirelessly. So I have these little cameras. I've been switching out all the Google Nest cams that I have in my house because I'm trying to get rid of all the Google stuff because I don't want anything going to the cloud. I also really don't like the fact that all these new security cameras, they record only when there's motion detected. Very annoying because 10 out of 10 times I've needed it, the motion I wanted, it didn't pick it up and then I wound up not getting the footage. So I'm swapping them all out and I have the, the Ubiquiti Dream Machine for my router at home and I've switched over to these little PoE cameras. So these are the UVC G3 Flex cameras, uh, Unify Protect. They're great. The quality is really good. Um, you know, they, they turn, so when you mount them, you have pretty good flexibility up, down. You can see the change the lens to look up and down. It goes down pretty far too. So you can get good rotation. You can mount them pretty much any way you want. They come with a bunch of different mounts. We'll open up this box and I'll show you what's inside. But these are the cameras I'm switching to. The problem is, is that, well, good and bad, is that these are PoE, so power over ethernet. So the way they're powered is by simply plugging in the ethernet cable that is giving it power. So what you're supposed to do is run a line from the router all the way to wherever the camera is and you plug the camera in and the whole thing just runs directly to your router and yeah you're in so i think i have like eight ports so they're already getting clogged up so i have so many things plugged in with access points and all kinds of stuff where i've wired connections to different levels in the house to this way i have them the best internet everywhere without having too much wi-fi just going crazy the problem is i don't want to run more cables everywhere just to plug in these cameras and sometimes I want to have them far, like I have, like my backyard goes out pretty far, so I want to have them out there and I don't want to be running cables all the way out there. So what do we do? So what I've done is I've come up with a really cheap, quick hack that will allow me to run these things wirelessly so I can plug them in anywhere, but they will still be powered over PoE and they still work with the Dream Machine and they still record. So I get 24 seven recording, full HD video, and it's all local on-prem, so I don't have to worry about any of my stuff going to the cloud. I own it all, and only I get to see it, which is great. The app, by the way, there's an app for the um, for the phone to view all the camera stuff. Works great, and you can access it externally and everything, too. So here's how it works. First, I picked up one of these things. This is the TP-Link Mesh Wi-Fi Extender AC1200 dual band, so for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz um, radios. Um, the key is you'll see right here on the side, which I have this one opened up. This is it here. Uh, super simple. I picked these up on Amazon. They're on sale right now for 30 bucks, but they limit you to three. So you can get other people that have Amazon accounts and buy three and send them to you if you want. Um, so I picked up three of these things and these things are super simple to plug in. First, you flip up the antennas. It plugs directly into the wall. As soon as it plugs in, you open up the app that you download and it finds it, joins it to the Wi-Fi. You say what networks it's extending. You literally just give it the SSID, pick it, put in the password for the 2.4 and then the five, hit the button, done. That's it. Then you just unplug it and go put it wherever you wanna go. Now, here's the fun part. So once you have this thing connected to your Wi-Fi, now I can go and plug this anywhere in the wall. Let me pull this thing off here. It's just a little bottom piece. So now what I can do is I can take this cable, let's just take a little short one to make it simple. Plug this into here, so this is the piece like this, right? And now this is what you wanna do, is you wanna them do this. So then, ta-da, I now have it working, right? Unfortunately, this doesn't really work because this is not providing power. So what we're gonna do is we're going to inject power between this little Wi-Fi extender and the camera itself. And the way we're gonna do that is with these little guys. So these I picked up, um, this is what I create in Amazon special, right? I think these ones with I have two different ones. So they're both made by the same company. This one here, which just has an AC plug, but they both do the exact same thing. It just depends on how, if you need the wires for extensions for AC or not. So with this one is the one I use the most, just plugs right into the wall. And on the bottom here, you'll see you have two different ports. So this one is saying data in, and this one's data out with power. So all this is doing is taking the data in, injecting power into line and carrying it on. So in the end, what we wind up with is we take this thing here and this thing here. So we'll plug the data into the data out here, like so. Both of these plug into the wall. And then we take the next ethernet cable here, 
and we plug this into the camera like so. Now I can plug this in anywhere in my house or around my house, wherever the Wi-Fi is getting there. This thing's also going to extend my Wi-Fi, so that's kind of a bonus. And then with this PoE injector, now it's running PoE. And this connects back to the Dream Machine and it thinks it's online. It thinks it's running a network connection and it's gonna record the video. Works flawlessly. I've had no issues, no drop packets of any kind. It's pretty amazing stuff. So this all in all was pretty cheap. So this one I think was a two pack of these for around $16. This one I think was $12 for one. So obviously sometimes you might need, you might not be able to plug them in right next to each other and you need to extend it out or whatever. So I have two different kinds. Also one thing to tell you, which was kind of what I hoped would work and it did thankfully, is when I plug this into the wall, I plug this one into the one socket and this one upside down right into the other, it fits perfect just like this. And then I have a one foot uh, network cable, Cat6 just goes whoop, right into there. So it's all self-contained and then from there I run the cable to the camera. So. This makes it super simple, really easy way. I've been try I tried a whole bunch of different types of extenders and little router things and all kinds of stuff to try to get this to work. This was the easiest, simplest, and honestly the cheapest one to do because right now I have these things which are from Ubiquiti, or the, the Wi-Fi extenders. These things are like $150 I think or something each and there's no ports. So I'm actually swapping these out for these because they do a better job, they're way cheaper, and I can get the PoE. So let's show you what comes in the box with the camera because it's actually pretty little box, big package. Here we go. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. Okay. Here this stuff. Nice little Apple-like packaging. Here we go. So we get the camera, nice little little lens cover, and just pop that right off. Stick that on the inside there. So now we got our camera. Um, it comes with the bottom cover. It's got kind of a rubber grippy thing on there. This we just pull straight down. It just comes off so this way you plug the ethernet cable in there you can also run it through the bottom or through the side depending on how you're going to mount this thing and it fixes it so this keeps it from slipping if you're just going to set it on the table like that now get a little that thing cards here's all the cool stuff that you can do it shows all the different ways you can mount them now one thing i should point out too is just for reference on here i don't know if you can see this or not but it says that this is an indoor outdoor camera i'm placing these two cameras actually outside today so we're going to test out to see how weatherproof these things really are because online when you buy them they sell them as indoor and they don't look very outdoor protective but i can see if i have give it a little bit of shelter they should be fine so i'll let you know over time how well that works out so anyway here's what else comes with it so we have a mounting base so we can swap it out so if we pull this one off we can put this base on very similar right but it's got on here so now if you want, which I have used in the past for various funny reasons. Uh, tripod mount, so if you want, you can screw this right into a tripod, standard standard size. And then also, we have this wall mount piece. So it comes with this little wall mount piece here. So you screw this part into the wall, then this, just, you can see right here, it fits right in perfect, slides right in. And then from here, you can, you know, tilt, angle, access. You can put it, I've, I have some that are actually on a ceiling, that I've angled down for various reasons. <laughs> Um, you can also hang them upside down if you need to and then flip the, the camera angle. They're pretty versatile. It's pretty cool. Little screws and stuff that comes with it as well. And then some zip ties for securing up the cables. Other than that, just kind of an empty box. I want to know who comes up with this design. Because how the hell, this is, like this is someone's job was to figure out, hey, I'm going to give you a piece of cardboard and make this thing all fit. That's crazy. Anyway, so that's it. Um... These things run about $80 a camera. You can buy them in a three pack and get them even cheaper. That's 10, 10 what I do just because I, I like having the cameras everywhere. And since they're local, I don't mind recording everything because it's all going to a hard drive that's continuously overwriting itself. So it's pretty badass. I highly recommend it and get off Google. Google's not your friend. Later. Nidus has just created the first iOS app made exclusively for identity management professionals. It's called Nidus Breachcast and you can download it now. It's amazing. We have real-time updates of all the latest breaches that are occurring, CVEs as they come out real-time, really pertaining just to identity management. We have media that's going on this podcast. We're going to be bringing in a lot more others as well. And we even have a complete vendor list of all the identity management vendors and all their products so you can find out exactly where to download their software, all the documentation. And what's even more awesome is an identity management glossary. All those crazy words and acronyms that we can never remember, they're all listed in there for you. No ads, just pure information to make your life simple. Thank you